guys and welcome back to another video and today we are playing F1 2020 and we are starting my team career mode. I'm very excited as you can tell. So let's just get straight into it. So I've already created a character right here. Okay boss, Carl here. Let's get this team up and running. The first thing we need to do is register a team name and bring in some important partners. I'm just gonna go with something very simple. TTR, Tiny Tony Racing. Now, let's choose our primary sponsor for this season. Okay, now our sponsor. Our chassis won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So, let's sign one of those now. Okay, now our engine supplies. I'll do Ferrari because the performance and durability is more than Mercedes. So it, even though it costs like 4.1 million, I don't care. Now our teammate to Mick Schumacher. He's the second best here. I think he'll get us all the way to the end of this season. Okay, so now livery I'm gonna go yeah that looks cool okay except okay so now our badge I made one earlier it's T <laughs> it's T because it's TTR tiny tiny racing so okay so now we can advance and then F1 2020 gives you a selection of how many races you want to do. For example, 10 races, 16 races, or the full 22 races. I'm going to go for the full 22 races for now. And uh, let's just do all my settings. Difficulty 85. Yeah, 85. Okay, now let's start session. So this is the Australian Grand Prix. It's my home race, and uh, I'm really good at a track, so hopefully I'll do very well. Hopefully. So let's do our activity timeline. So let's do seven days on aero and chassis focus. That might do well. And two days, we don't have time to do anything in two days. And then uh, for five days, Let's do a driver training camp. How about that? Oh wait, the R&D tree. Um, so I said the aero department, so let's just do that first. So let's do front wing. And here is the brand new TTR car. Hey, that rhymes. Yeah. That looks so cool. We are number two. And I don't know about Mick. I don't know. Now we can advance some time to the Australian Grand Prix. And now we have arrived at Australia. I'm going to go and do practice and I'll rejoin with you guys for qualifying. Welcome to a very cloudy qualifying here in Elbert Park. And uh, if you didn't know, um, I put it on full qualifying, so Q1, Q2, Q3. So this is my flying lap currently. Now, I realize the car is very, very, like it feels very heavy and not much downforce. And uh, yeah, it's pretty slow, even though we have the Cheetah's engine, slash Ferrari's engine. And in practice, this car was not very good. So hopefully we can um, do better than practice one, because in practice one, um, yeah, I spun it and then, yeah, yeah I crashed into the wall, sadly. On Saturday. So we go P5, not great obviously, but we'll head to the garage and see what we can do. Back to the garage we go and, and yeah, we, we've dropped down from P5 
five to I don't know. Let me just check. P15. Okay, we definitely got to work on everything. Let's try and get another lap in, and hopefully this will be a good one. But I'm gonna do this lap without talking, so. Oh, I didn't get a lap in. Oh. P15, is that gonna be enough to enter Q2? Please. Is this 16? Let me just check qualifying more. Oh, okay, thank God. Yeah, P17 is when you get below. So, I was extremely lucky. Now we on move on to qualifying two. Um, it, if you're enjoying this so far, leave a like and subscribe for more F1 2020. And next episode, when we, if we do a next episode, it will be Bahrain. And yeah, hopefully, oh, I'm not a big fan of Bahrain because I don't really like night races. I like day because you can actually see what's going on in front of you. And I like short tracks. Oh, a little bit of slidey there. Yeah, the car is a little bit of slide. Has a little bit of slide juice. It's like butter. It's like an ice skating ring with butter with all the sticky stuff. Like oil. Well, not sticky, slippery. There we go. Tongue twister. Who is this in front of me? It's one of the Ferraris. Hopefully he can get out of my way when I'm doing my... Oh wait, I am doing my fine lap. That's a little bit awkward. I thought I was doing my drive out lap. Anyways. Let's try and get a very good lap in. And uh, um, let, yeah, let's just see what we can do while I'm talking. Because no talking is a bit of an advantage to get a good... Score. Score. What? What's the word that I'm looking for? Anyways, we go P4. Not bad. So, back into the garage we go. That was the word I was looking for. Um, and let's just advance some time. Where am I now? I'm gonna come last place, I think. Yeah, I at least I'll get another lap in. And I'll do this lap with no talking. Huh? What just happened? Huh? Well, that's unfortunate. I wasn't even done my quality. Okay, so 15 laps around uh, Albert Park, and yeah, let's see what we can do. Ooh, it's a cloudy day out here in Melbourne. As we return to Melbourne for the opening race of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to the Australian Grand Prix. I don't care. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's So for the grid lineup, Valtteri Bottas, yeah, Mercedes 1-2. It's predictable if you think about it. Max in third, Daniel Ricciardo in fourth. I guess this is a home race, so, so it is mine. Esteban and P10, Lando Norris uh, taking a five place penalty. Um, me in P16, and then Mick Schumacher in P20, and then Williams, they're just too slow. Okay, so race strategy for today softs until lap seven, and then finish it off with mediums. Okay, that, that's. It's just standard um, pit stop strategy. We will put the fuel on 16 laps? Yeah, let's get an extra lap of fuel. And then, yeah, here we go. So, five red lights. And away we go for the Australian Grand Prix. Us not getting 
for us getting a, a kind of good start off the line and we go for a dive bomb. We're going three wide. Trying to, ooh, trying to pass Kibia. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Let's show front. Can we go for a master overtake? No, we can't. No. We'll get him next time, hopefully. Anyways, though. Lando with the kind of place penalty. I don't even, I can't even see him on the leaderboard. I think he's in P. Woo! We almost smashed into Lance Stroll. Oh wait, I forgot the overtake button. Now, keep, keep on pushing. Oh no, that, that was a corner cut. How, how did I not get a warning for that? I'm lucky. Gasly going into the inside. And we pass him. Yes! Now going on to lap two. That was an insane first lap. And now we're running away from pure Gasly. Now we have to catch up to Sergio Perez. Hard break. Come on. Use all of use all of the stuff that'll make you faster, but except DRS that activates on lap three. Can we go for late breaking? No, we can't. Whoa! Sergio just took my front wing off, so I'll have to pit um, this lap, Jeff. Okay, fine. DRS. As we break early. So apparently, according to Jeff, we are not pitting. Well, we might pit this lap, unless he changes it at the end of this lap. Anyways, though, we started in P16, now we're in P11. Oh no, the understeer is just insane. And now Pierre is going for an overtake, but we go around the outside. Anyways, though, the car is so slidey, Sergio Perez is gone. And then Pierre Gasly goes around the outside, we've got the inside line, and now we've we switch to the outside line. Awesome stuff. Sergio Perez is a monster. Or oh, I guess I'm going slow because of my understeer. Well, at least Pierre Gasly won't have the DRS. Oh, I break. Oh, no. Yes, he won't have DRS. Yeah. He's fighting with Lance Stroll. Is he? Yeah, he is. Oh no. Ah! Front. Anyways, we are pitting this lap. Danny Kibia is coming in with me. This will be a close call. And it said Carlos Sainz was my teammate. It's Mick Schumacher. Stupid. Jeff. You are stupid. I'm in. Oh my god. I am in the last place. Oh wait, it's raining? What? Oh, we break a little bit early. God, no, no. I think we might come um, last here. Oh, it's slidey. Six seconds. Now we're up to P20. Oh! Are you okay? And there's Don't been a me. massive crash. Okay, oh no. What just happened? What did happen? So I've come, came up here, and then suddenly there's been a massive crash. What happened here? 
no, no, no. Oh, this is Lance Stroll and one of the Towers. I think that might have been Daddy Kvyat. And then in slow-mo, Danny just took Lance Stroll out and then everyone crashed. Oh God, everyone just crashed into everybody. That is a massive crash. Uh, I have to retire. I am actually shocked. Okay, so we get a lot of money and next episode is the Bahrain Grand Prix. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more content. Especially F1 because this was fun. Bye.